Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Category Space War in the East as we continue. As we can see the general shape of the front line right now, you can see where we have decided to dig in uh, for the time being. Uh, we're not going to be doing this permanently, this is just a hold in action for the time being. And uh, more so for my panzers to be able to uh, refuel and rearm. Now I'm keen to be across this river, I think our best uh, place to cross would probably be here. I mean, that is a minor river, which is something I can't do anything about, but the fact is the rails are here. Hmm. I could be across here, but that wouldn't really do too much. Then again. Hmm. It's going to take me a long time to be able to move across there, so we'll have to see. I could potentially batter that division down by using the stronger division over here. I mean, the thing is, this division, 16,513 men, 194 guns, two armored vehicles. Yep, you can see here that they've lost quite a lot of their vehicle support. Okay. I'm also reconsidering um, having that many divisions sent away, or division headquarters sent away. Okay. So there isn't that much between us and Tula. At least as far as I'm aware here, so we'll do some reconnaissance, that would probably help things out considerably. Now watch this all fill up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Significant numbers. I'd love to be able to pocket this instead of like just continually pushing the um, air forces out of the way. Um, I need to go for a solid line of advance down the south, really. We need to make it difficult for the Soviets. I think I could potentially sever reinforcements to the south here if I was to be able to move up over this river. You can see here there's one rail crossing, two, three, four. Then the next crossing is all the way over here. And that's quite a significant distance away. Yep. That's it, actually. Indeed, they would have to go all the way around. So seizing that crossing could be incredibly important. I mean, they of course can cross, but they won't be able to cross via the rail system, which will be slower and ultimately cost them more. Uh, but first, what we're going to do then is we're going to find our... Rail over here, yep. Okay, so I can't believe how much time has been wasted with this, it's really shocking, and it's probably going to cost me a hell of a lot in the long run. I can't even begin to say how much it's going to cost me. Um, now I have been repeatedly told that I can split up these divisions, so I shall do. There we go, I didn't even realize you could do that for a long, 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 long time, but I have been told. Right, they're gone. So we can spread these out now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. I'll move one. Over there. And over here to Bryansk. Bryansk. Yeah, we have a lot of partisans over here. That's not good. Glad they've been dealt with. Right, we need to repair these rails ASAP. Uh, yep. That's gonna delay me massively.
Okay. Now that's the thing, I can go forward or I can go back. The thing is, I'm not going to receive any supply if I keep on going forward anyway. It's going to take me longer to get back. So, I've probably buggered myself by not really understanding the rail system. Yep, see, we can't even use it. Actually, move that. Nope. We'll have to head back and deal with that then. Now what I'd probably do in a future campaign is instead of having all these like little ones off on their own path is I'd probably take direct control of them and have them uh, take a secondary route, but I would like... Okay. So these Romanian horses, Hungarian <clears throat> and Italian, cannot advance north of here. Which is okay. Move the infantry forward. I'll let the Italians deal with that division. Headquarters over here as well. So he's going to go for a general advance towards Kursk. Liberate all this fuel. Reorganize the command over here. Okay. So this is the... Uh, yep. XX. Yep. Are you already attached? Are you already attached? Okay. I'll try to uh, assign about four divisions to each command. I'll get rid of these ones, actually. So this is uh, LV. Oh, 
tell V. Okay, you already have command of quite a lot of the group here. Uh, X, X, I, X. Okay, you already signed. Yeah, one, two, three, four. XVII. There we go. Six army. Okay, it's all looking good. Yes, this has hardly any fuel, so I'm going to send it to the Hungarian lines again. <coughs> Excuse me. And away you go. Ah, uh, so... Yeah. Hungarian. There we go. I think that's the most ordered advance I've ever had. No. I'd like to take a retina. I think that's the main thing here. If we can try to separate the southern and central fronts. So basically, if we can take a rail, we cut off this um, rail line here. If I take this, that one's cut off. If I take that, that's cut off. And then it's basically a Tambov that's cut off again. Basically that. Uh, but what I ideally want to be able to do then is, and uh, we'll go for a nice blue here then, is uh, say these are our initial uh, starting points here. What I want them to do is to sweep towards Riazan. And I would like to ideally take a position along this river line. You can see how far the enemy will have to go to be able to cross here with the rail lines. Uh, which is a good damn thing. Because if we can take that and try to hold the Soviets in this position here, that potentially gives us the opportunity in the future to sweep around here with armoured forces. I mean, ideally this train would be better, but there's rivers here anyway. So at least that's my thoughts on the situation. We have to make the best of what we have right now. I've made a hell of a lot of mistakes in this campaign, and I probably will make a hell of a lot more. 
but we'll deal with it as it comes. Right, let's try and get rid of these forces. Son of a... Alright, there we go. I mean, they're all collapsed in the end. Hmm. Right, so I'll move these infantry divisions up. Uh, so we'll start with the ones first away. I would like to take that city, but it will fall in time. Now this one isn't anywhere near as large as this army here. So the 6th army is rather huge. So what I can do then in the future is I can assign other units to this force over here. To this army. Uh, which I will do, I mean these remnants of the 11th army will eventually merge. But I might just keep them separate just for the sake of it. It would help with organization, really. Okay. Alright, so this is the 17th army. I do need those rails back in action ASAP. That's really going to cost me in the long run. It's going to cost me a hell of a lot. Um, actually, security is a good thing I should look at right now. Right. Let's move you there. And we'll split up these uh, security divisions. Something I should have done a long time ago. So now the thing is, I'm having to move down the rails here. And I put myself in such a position where I don't really have any other choice, so I'm going to have to continue due to the uh, previous issue of not understanding what the problem was. But at least we'll have a line to fall back to here, should we require it. And um, once we have these rail lines connected up again, I can try to make my way down here potentially, or um, up here, and we'll connect up the rail lines. And then we should have at least have a nice a broad front of rail line. Yes, these Soviets are diving deep here. I do need to rectify this issue ASAP. Because that is looking to be rather dangerous. Well, it's a hell of a lot more dangerous for the Soviets than it is for me. We'll um, take a look at the situation in the future. We must figure out how to deal with it. Okay. So, IV. The organization of the armies is a must. And I'm going to try to advance them in their respective cores now. Am I missing something? Ah, uh, probably because it's overwhelmed. Okay. See, this has more... Um, oh. Okay, that makes sense.
There we go. Okay, there we go. Li. Lii or L two. There we go. Right, sorted. So this is the XXIV. Right, there we go. So the idea here is that we are going to push. We're going to push deep, I'm going to push hard. I forgot what color they were. Ah, yeah, it's uh, sort of light purple. So basically, these troops are here now. They are going to push on to Kursk. They're going to push on to these cities here. That's what I want them to do. These men here. Uh, their objective is Stalingrad, ultimately. Uh, but I will have the southern half of the force basically swing around to grab these cities here. Uh, the northern half will just continue straight on to uh, Stalingrad. But I will capture this city over here along the way. And then uh, from that point on we can swing down towards the uh, Caucasus. But I will not. I will instead turn north and head to Elngels and Saratov. At least if I can ever make it there. But uh, there is a lack of Soviet resistance in the south, and I do need the 7th, um, is it the 6th or 7th army? I, I keep forgetting. Um, the 6th army, 6th army will try to push them. Uh, we do have this army over here, the 4th uh, army will try to force them apart. Okay. Now these panzers are still waiting on fuel. They will continue to do so. In fact, I could potentially have them retreat backwards. Then, again, that burns more fuel, so I'm just going to keep with how I am now. So I'm going to be wasting fuel if I do it like that. Hmm. Uh, so I'll stick with what I've got for the time being, then. I don't want to waste more fuel by doing something like that. Poltava. Okay, split you up. There we go. Fuck. 
full attack. There we go. Another 86 armored fighting vehicles in my hands now. Okay. Really? Son of a... <sighs> Finally. And gone. Now I'm going to let the Romanian forces do all this. I'm going to have the German forces push on. There we go. This army is in desperate need of reorganization. See, I could probably do with sweeping along here with the German forces. Uh, this city does contain some manpower, and at least I can move towards Rostov. Yeah. So I think in... I don't know, we'll just have these forces continue on to Stalingrad. We need to have a huge push here to make the most of it. So if I can have this smaller German force push towards these cities over here, which is on their way anyway, that will be uh, better in the long run. There we go. Routed. See, we have a hell of a lot of the actual uh, command over here. What I could potentially do then is basically um, have the German units in the purple and then have the Romanian units a different colour, but at least I'd be able to differentiate between them. Uh, we should be okay, then at least we could combine those forces, but hey, not really much too, well, too much point about. We'll just get on by. Okay. Need to move. Is that it? No, there we go. Ah, surrendered. And... Retreated, I think. But yes, goodbye for now.